Hi folks, this is Haryum for uh, CWinner. Today um, we thought we will start a series of video on uh, uh, what is science and things like that because I, I sincerely believe that that's one thing we are lacking in terms of uh, our uh, education. Uh, we don't know what is science and things like that. So I thought we will start from the earlier part of um, the two great uh, scientists in my opinion or philosophers but who made uh, such a great impact on, uh, on science, especially for me, one was Buddha and uh, uh, another one was uh, Thruvalvar, right? For people who don't know what, uh, who is Thruvalvar, it was a poet saint of probably 2000 years old. Now, <clears throat> all these things have been uh, discussed in different ways. So I think this is a very good quote. Uh, in God we trust, uh, all others bring data. The problem with this quote is, then we don't know what is the data, how it is collected, how to be collected in different fields and things like that. Especially in medicine, we don't have a slightest clue how the data is um, collected, right? So for the data to be collected, there are certain rules and things which we have to follow. And I think uh, Valuar and uh, um, Gautam Buddha told it in a sort of a profound manner, which is uh, far more superior to anybody who teaches uh, science today, um, even people who teach uh, uh, EVM, this is a profound statement. Now, um, Buddha said, uh, if, you, if you follow Buddha, he went to different places to get understanding of the truth and things like that, and he couldn't get it, and he went and uh, did his meditation and uh, got his epiphany, right? So, from his understanding of all these things, he had uh, some profound statements, and Basically, what he said was, don't believe in other people uh, just because they are grand, they are older, they are learned, apostrophe, right, with an apostrophe, uh, or it has been written in a 10,000-year-old book or a 5,000-year-old uh, uh, book or something like that, right? He said that get all the information what you get it's not knowledge, it's just information. And then just uh, critically analyze that he said in two words, one is observation, another one is analysis. Now, these two are profound words, which are different meaning in different science, right? If you remember, I suppose a lot of you are not in my age group, but if you remember when we were small, we did our first science experiment in my sixth standard was observation of the candle, right? The flame of the candle, what happens to the can uh, flame, how many layers are there, uh, what are the colors and things like that, right? That is observation, not just seeing, right? I saw the patient is not observation, right? Observation is far more uh, minute and you critically analyze in your mind and things like that. You do a metacognition of it, right? So that's what uh, the Buddha said and uh, Balu had said it in uh, sort of seven letters, what it means is to discern the truth in whoever says it. Somebody can, whatever, whoever can, everybody can say anything, right? Because we all have a mouth. So to discern the truth out of that is what is important. Uh, that's what he said, right? So basically, this is science. This is science. Nothing more, nothing less. And the problem in this is how to do this observation and analysis. That's where we lag because we are not taught that tools, right? We are not given that tools. Now, I'm just going to give you some examples of what's the problem in the observation, I mean, what's the problem in the uh, first two parts, that is your spoken, written authorities, handmade generation and things like that. We'll just have a look into it. Now, if you look into uh, all our uh, physiotherapy, we will be, uh, say, you, you will be constantly hearing that this is the new advance, right? Uh, it changed from five years back. Uh, everybody was talking about uh, doing this. Now they are talking about changing the fascia. The next, uh, in another five years, they will talk about how to change the hair, right? So that is uh, what is our basic problem. We have so many uh so many things we hear, we all hear that this is the best phone, this is the best treatment, this is the newest treatment because it was taught by a white person, it was taught by a 
elderly person, it was taught all these things, right? Uh, and also we have this peer group uh, problem of if you ask any any pediatric uh, therapist, they will tell you that they're practicing NDT. And the comedy is that NDT is as good as doing nothing, right? And if you ask any orthopedic uh, practice uh, practitioner, they will say that I use only manual therapy. As though that is some sort of uh, badge to be honored, right? I'll tell you what are the issues with all these things. Uh, so this is basically what we hear, right? We need to find out whether it is true. Now, the first problem with any of these things is most of it is our products, right? If it is uh, uh, Mulligan, Bobat, or uh, whoever uh, taught you to uh, to make uh, roti and chapati is uh, with a rolling pin, uh, what I call as the facial manipulation. All these things are um, uh, products, right? And the products have, uh, you know who they have, right? They have salespeople, right? <clears throat> uh, and uh, the, the products will also have uh, salespeople like uh, the Lux ad for Shah Rukh Khan. They will have somebody else for you know, that product, right? But they will also have uh, the th things like this, right? The NDT, I learned it and it changed my life. Yeah, because he was an idiot already. Now he has become a super idiot, right? That kind of thing. They will also have this advertisement to say that they are the best. You can say that the Dettol is <laughs> the best because it uh, reduces 99% germs. Uh, they also give you 100% sure. I don't know what it means, right? Likewise, McKenzie people will say that 99% of our people will uh, get better with uh, uh, back pain after mulligan and things like that, right? So remember ad and things like that are just a part and parcel of any product. So you need to be careful with any product. And also we have these uh, people who claim that, no, 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 you can't teach uh, McKinsey or Mulligan or this or that in the college because this is a knowledge which only people we can have. A lot of things are uh, just for money, right? Uh, the same thing happens for food also. We say that uh, what's the best biryani shop in, uh, in Chennai? A lot of people told me that this is the shop to go and eat. Then you find a hotel and you eat there that branch i said was then they said no, no i said no it is not that good i said no 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 we have to go there what it means is no 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 you are not getting the right treatment of what mulligan taught us from the mulligan trained people only can they can give you that and, and you go and eat here and you find out and you go and tell, hey, it was okay right remember that is just my opinion that's not a fact right anybody will have an opinion right that is what democracy is, right? You can have an opinion about anything, but facts are facts. You cannot change it. You can't have a fact for yourself, right? So uh, these are the problems with, uh, some of the problems with having uh, a product or things which are being pushed on us. Remember there may be also good products also, but we need to discern whether it is good or bad, not based on how it is taught, who is taught, who is teaching us, whether he's from US or UK, or he's a local teacher, or whether it is written this book, that book. No, it should be analyzed and observed and critically analyzed, right? So also the other thing that Buddha told us is also that don't believe in you know, <laughs> teachers and elders and uh, written in books or even told religious books and hand me down uh, information, right? Uh, the, again, there may be a truth in it. There may not be a truth in it. What Buddha is saying is don't just follow it just because somebody told you that is all, right? You need to go and analyze and observe what is happening. Not just keeping on blabbering because somebody told you, right? Uh, and also remember teachers are mostly useless. Most of your teacher, uh, I was a teacher for a long time we are basically useless because of two reasons one is we teach uh, your syllabus the syllabus is uh, fairly useless and then we also don't know mostly what we are talking about right <clears throat> so the last part of it is uh, your observation and analysis and this is where uh, a lot of people have trouble right because uh, uh, we cannot um, mm, we don't know how this is done and things like that, how to do an analysis. This is the hardest part in uh, medicine. So in the next video, 
um, because we are not going anywhere. And I will talk about those things, right? So if you want to hear more videos like this, uh, subscribe to our channel um, and be connected. Uh, and also stay at home and uh, be safe.